This video is sponsored by Rabcon. Go down to the description to get 25% off. Hey guys, Razor Rulo right here, and today we will be reviewing Sonic Media Plus. But before we get into that, can we, can we just talk about this right here? What is this? Most of my viewers aren't really subscribed, so it would be really nice if you did um, press that subscribe button right there. And also left a comment because that would be recommended in most people's, like, algorithm. But before we get into that, we like to talk about our sponsor, Rabcon. You know how Raycon is for Raymans? Raymans? I don't know, but like, you know, you got Rayman wearing them right there. Tar Raisin wearing them right there. And even Dark Rayman wearing them right there. And we all know, I don't support discrimination. But I do support segregation. You what? Oh, so that's why there's a new product called Rabcod for the rabbits. Does that mean I get to appear in this video? No. Get out of here. Nobody wants you here. These are the same as Raycon. Just had to be a rabbit to buy them. But go down to the description and type in the code 1911. Bruh. To get five percent off. Wait. Y'all lost money. Oh. Sorry, guys. Um. Uh. We want a free fund right now. Give us our money now. It, now it is zero percent off. So you're just buying the same product for the same price. <laughs> Seriously, Razor Ruler and Rabcon. This is why corporations should die in a fire. Sonic, compared to Mario, has had the most, let's just say, complicated history. Most people agree that the classic games were good, then there was the first Dark Age, like Knuckles Chaotix, Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic 3D Blast at least gave us this masterpiece right here. Now we're in the Yip Country era, and I'm telling you, this is where it gets really controversial right here. Like with Sonic's design! Like with green eyes, or taller body, or hot dog shaped shoes. <laughs> like, so calm down guys, like it's just so freaking design freaking. It's still Sonic, okay? Like, you can still tell it's not okay. But the games in this era are, let's just say, kind of split. Some people say they're great. Some people say they're trash. Some people say they're masterpieces. Some people say they're garbage. <laughs> now we have hit the most infamous point of Sonic's career. The second Dark Age. Starting off with Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic and the Secret Rings, and most famously, Sonic 06. I know we all heard about the jokes in Sonic 06. Like, Sonic 06 is so bad, it promotes bestiality. Sonic 06 is so bad, it has confused story. Sonic 06 is so bad, it has glitches in it. So Sonic 06 is so bad, it gave me AIDS. <laughs> Last of all, is the meta era, which I think Sega started listening too much to the critics. They started nostalgia pandering, they started removing humans out of the Sonic universe. They just started doing a lot of stuff that Sonic fans don't like, you know? And they just turned up the baby games, basically. Like, have you seen the writing in Sonic Colors? <laughs> Baldy knows him! <laughs> That was cool. Pun entirely intended. 
It's been generations since I've seen you. In the meta era, it was kind of a mixed selection, you know? Um, some games were just good, amazing and stuff. Then you get games that are kind of just... Meh. And then, there's only really one bad game, and you probably know it. But, from that retrospective, you can probably see that Sonic has had a lot of speed bumps in his career. Pun not intended. But, we will always know that the Sonic series will still be alive. Right, Sonic? Wait. Sonic? There is no way that this is real. There's no way. There's no way. I must be on LSD or something like that. Well, you're not actually on LSD because we all know drugs are bad for you kids. But I'm actually the Tooth Fairy. I will not trust you with my teeth. Just look at you. But for real, let's actually get on with the story. Stop attacking the good guys! Come on, catch me if you can! Here we go! Just let him! Sonic Speed! You're too slow! Watch out! Come on, step it up! That's what you get for getting in our way! Sonic Mania's plot is just really confusing. First of all, when I even enter the gameplay, there's already a mistake right here. So why is Angel Island not in the ocean? Like it's not floating anymore. Like you can clearly see it's um it sank into the ocean. And before you say um in Lava Reef uh, Act Two with Knuckles, it, it shows the Heavy King trying to steal the Master Emerald. But he doesn't steal it. <laughs> Knuckles knocks it out of his grasp, basically. And dude just it just makes no sense. Especially even in Knuckles story. Knuckles just get transported from Angel Island. That's what happens. Nothing else happens. Like that. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing too. Like, why are we going from South Island to West Island? To Little Planet to Angel Island, like it just feels like an excuse to just get around the um, levels. Like the game doesn't actually have a coherent plot. It just feels like a compilation, which they were trying to try it for. But you know, can you just put a little more focus on the story? And this story ties into uh, forces. So yeah, gu guilty by association. Safety belt is properly buckled, or you at least have a really good grip on something. Oh, my bloody God, Sonic! Sonic Mania's gameplay is great, okay? I played this game eight times, you know? Five times for the Chaos Emeralds, or really six times because I played Knuckles and Knuckles and no safe mode. But it is so great to control. The level design is great. Just everything about about this game is great, except for Melange Saloon Zone Act One. They just had a lot of glitches in there, and I don't like the boss. Like, look at this glitch right here. <laughs> the heck happened to Knuckles? What happened to him? Did the local kill him or something that? Like, what happened? Sonic Mania does have problems, like the glitches and stuff. But it isn't that big like Sonic 06. What's this Sonic 06 thing you're talking about? Oh yeah, I forgot. You're a classic Sonic, not modern Sonic. So, are you trying to say that I'm not actually no real Sonic, but I'm some 
glancy Sonic or something like that. Like, you're trying to act like I'm from some different dimension or something like that. Like, what is happening here? Because, in my opinion, that's no good. And you have a problem learning how to read. Sonic, calm down and calm down. You're still Sonic, okay? You're still Sonic, okay? The fans still call you Sonic. Oh, really? Then what's this classic Sonic and modern Sonic thing? Like, are y'all really trying to differentiate me and split me into groups? I'm just Sonic. Like, who started up this theory? Um. Um. The fans? Fine. I'm going back to Green Hill Zone. But I don't want to hear anything else, okay? I'm going back to Green Hill Zone and doing my random shenanigans, okay? All y'all are fake fans, and I don't care about you. That's nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Well, as you can obviously see from the different view, uh, Sonic has left. So, let's move on to the music. Ha ha ha. About the music, I mean, it's pretty good. My favorites are Stardust Speedway, Metallic Madness, and Egg Reverie because they're good and they're catchy and they're jamming. Well, hello, Weezer. Over. I have found you a new buddy, the soul Sonic. He's left me. Well, hello, Mr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik. I just have three questions for you. Um, how did you get in my property? And what is this buddy you're talking about? And also. Why would I ever trust you? Trust me, trust me. I have changed into a good person. And I bring you this metal razor rumor. Oh yeah, I would totally trust the guy who's a narcissistic sociopath, animal abuser, and slave owner who has committed many war crimes. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I have turned my name from Ivor Robotnik to Angel Robotnik. You know? Um, so I'm good now. Uh -huh. Fine. I trust you now. Psych! Do it now or I will destroy the YouTube channel. Oh my god, guys, he's gonna destroy my YouTube channel. Oh my god, guys. Ooh, so scary. Oh, oh man, I'll do it, I'll do it. So the reason I really like these songs is just that they're so catchy, jamming out, and they remind me of Sonic CD tracks, which are amazing. The Japanese version. But the American version is okay. But it didn't go for that garbage. Um, trying to recreate the Genesis sound file and stuff. With like what they did for Sonic 4. And Sonic Forces of course. But there is some bankers in there. But only a few. Right, um, Metal Razor? Metal Razor. Hello? Hello? So yes guys, Sonic Mania's soundtrack should be up there with Beethoven's music 
and the Waluigi song. Wow. 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 Sonic Mania is so great, okay? It should be put up in a, in a museum, okay? The music, the gameplay, not, not so much of the story. The graphics, the multiplayer, all this stuff that Sonic Mania has is so great. Oh my god, is it great. Oh. It needs to be put up in a museum, yo. So, that's my opinion on Sonic Mania. You know? Um, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell right there. Wait. Here. Always knew something was wrong with you. Ever since you stayed silent, you know. Let's see, I got my razor bowling ball gun 3000. Nice, bro. Are you okay, dude? Like that was totally radical. Why you just stand right there? Yeah, I'm okay. But I just want to say sorry, um, Razor. I'm sorry for getting mad at you when you call me Classic Sonic. Um, I just thought you had some type of favoritism, trying to split us Sonics and classify us into quote-unquote quote tier lists and stuff, you know? Say that Classic Sonic's better or Modern Sonic's better, but you just see me as Sonic. That's it, you know? I actually do have a favorite. It's Mario. Oh, you son of a...